talking to you about procrastination, which is something that I think a lot of people just like sweep under the rug. Um, today I'm going to be talking about three things, mainly focusing on what is procrastination, how it affects your life, and how to motivate yourself to do things and prevent putting everything off. So what is pro pro procrastination? Most people would say uh, it's just being lazy, it's just putting everything off, it's not anything that's really important, people just don't want to try. Well, the actual definition is the avoidance of doing a task which needs to be accomplished. Well, to me, procrastination is doing everything in a deadline induced panic, to where you don't even know if you're going to get it done. Like, it's three in the morning and you still have this six page paper due, and you're just completely stressed out. To me, procrastination is being tired, being so physically exhausted that you sleep through the class that you just stayed up all night doing your homework for. It's, it's being so tired that you even put off sleeping because you're too tired to sleep. To me, procrastination is making your friends and your family and your teachers really, really mad because you're not doing what you're supposed to do, but you just can't make yourself do it. It's so impossible to do anything, and everybody's getting mad at you for it, which should motivate you, but it can also demotivate you, if that's a word. It, it makes you just so upset at yourself, you don't know what to do. So the effects of procrastination on your life. Um, you miss deadlines, obviously. You, you put everything off and then it's too late and you're screwed. Um, obviously you're exhausted. You, you're so tired that you can't do the work that you've been putting off. You think, oh, there's some free time here, but there's not. So. The last thing is your reliability goes down. People don't like have faith in you anymore. Your teachers are like, oh, that's the student that doesn't turn anything in. Like, they're never gonna come to class because, oops, you slept through it. And um, basically your friends don't like expect you to like do anything anymore. And your parents are like, oh, yeah, well, typical Taylor, you know? <laughs> um, so, Lastly, what can you do to motivate yourself? Um, there are a few things that I've seen that work. You can start your day over at around 2 p.m. That's when other people are like starting to realize that half the day is gone and you're running out of time to do the stuff that you're putting off. So what you do is at around 2 p.m. you write down what all you've done and see what all you needed to do and maybe, just maybe, seeing that you've had absolutely nothing done all day will motivate you to do something the last half of the day. Um, a lot of people have the problem of seeing the forest and forgetting that it's made of trees. You need to start by cutting down one tree. And if you can't cut down one tree, maybe just cut three branches. That would help. Um, a lot of people, they get so overwhelmed with all the stuff that they have to do, especially with finals week coming up for college students. Um, they're like, okay, I have an eight page paper due in the 140, I have to give this speech, I have to do this math assignment and this psychology, like there's just so much going on and you have performances and it's just so overwhelming. So you have to remember that even if it's just for 10 minutes, you need to work on just one thing, and that's one step closer to your goal. Um, you can also create an audience. I've seen that helps with my sister especially. She'll tell one of her friends or me um, what she's going to do, and then if she doesn't do it, well, it's positive peer pressure. Um, when you see that people are disappointed in you, that makes you think, okay, uh, maybe I should have done that, maybe I'll do it this time. Uh, again, it's all inside yourself. You have to remember to make yourself do it because nobody can make you do what you need to do besides yourself.
Uh, don't interrupt yourself with what you're doing. Uh, turn off your cell phone if you're definitely going to do something. You need to make sure that you don't have any distractions. Go to a quiet place and just work hard. Um, also, one thing that you can do if it's been all week and you haven't done a single thing that you need to do, you can plan an unprocrastination day, which is basically where you know you're going to do things and you're not going to hang out with your friends and you're not going to watch any movies or do any fun things. Uh, you just sit down and you do your work. So, in conclusion, don't let procrastination consume your life. Because it can become a lifestyle and it can become very, very irritating and it's physically exhausting. And you don't want that to be you. You want to be happy and healthy and full of energy and you want to be the person that everybody says is reliable and trustworthy and always gets the work done and you want to always be on time. So don't become that person. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, why are you so into procrastination and stuff like that? Why do you choose to stop with exactly? Thank you for your question. Um, his question was, why, why am I so into procrastination? Why, why do I want to help stop it? Well, it, it really hits home for me because obviously I think some of you know that I do procrastinate a lot and I know the lifestyle and I know how difficult it can be and it's stressful and I don't want anybody else to be in that position. Um, what are like some things that you do yourself to help with procrastination? Thank you. She said, uh, what do I do <coughs> myself to help with procrastination? And one of the things that I've done is I wrote a list on my phone of uh, five reasons to stay motivated. And so anytime that I'm feeling like I'm not going to do something, I look at it and like it says things like, well, you want to get your degree, you want to be the first Dr. Slater, you want your kids to look up to you, like stuff like that. So that really makes me think, okay, I need to get this done because I don't want to fail college. I want to be happy and it really helps. Question. I have a question for you, quick question. The, um, so why is this timely or important to us? Thank you. He asked why it's timely or important to us, and that would be, um, as college students, we're one of the biggest groups known to be procrastinators and put things off. And uh, it's, it's important because you don't want to put everything off. You want to know that you're going to get this degree, that's why you came to college. And putting everything off isn't really going to help with that. All right, very good, very good. All right, what went well? Um,